Hi everyone, so this video is about doing a perm rod set on a full lace wig. The only products I'm going to be using are a couple clips, some combs, a lot of bodies, foaming wrap mousse, and Eco Styler's Crystal Gel. I started by splitting the wig in half, and it really helps to put the wig on a mannequin and then um, clamp it to a table. So I uh, started at the bottom and worked my way up because that's how I do my normal perm rod sets. And the only reason I decided to do it on the wig is because I can't stand how a perm rod set will only last two days. Doing it on a wig, I could take the wig off every night and hang it up and then the curls would be perfect the next day. And that's really what I was going for. After I put the product in the hair, I took a fine tooth comb and combed the product through to make sure it was as smooth as possible, focusing some on the ends. Later I learned it's easier to just use Eco Styler Gel to smooth the ends to the perm rod. Sorry if you can hear my dog barking in the background. Um, anyway, I started at the root and then I twisted and twirled it around the perm rod to kind of get a springy curl and less of a Shirley Temple curl. Here I'm just putting some foaming wrap mousse on the ends, but it actually works a lot better with Eco Styler Gel on the ends. So I picked that up. If you could see, it's kind of slipped off the end there. Um, and I used all orange perm rods. I want to say I counted almost 50, I think 48 or 50 perm rods on this wig. And the wig is 16 inches. If you want information about this wig, I got it at aprillacewigs.com. I will have a link in the description box. And also a link to a, a video where I wore the hair um, in its straighter blown out style. But here's a closer look at me putting the perm rods in the hair. You start at the root and then you twirl and twist. And get to the end, take a little bit of Eco Styler to slick it onto the perm rod and then secure the end with the rubber banded side. Afterwards, I'm going to put the wig on a, this is a, um, a little stand that you put your paper towels on. So I just put a towel on that and then I stuck it underneath my uh, hooded dryer and put it on medium heat and left it there for like two hours, two or three hours. And I ended up doing this at night so it actually sat uh, overnight. The next day, I, uh, I actually rotted the front part of my hair so it would blend a little bit better. Just take a little stocking cap and put it over my braids since yes, I have learned how to cornrow my hair. Not very pretty, which is why I didn't show you. I took out the rods off camera and then I uh, plopped that onto my head. I was actually getting ready for work so it was in a little bit of a rush, but uh, I think it blended really well. Like the color of this wig matches the color of my hair almost perfectly. I just lined up the part that I made and uh, fluffed it a little bit, tried to blend in my, my leave out with the rest of the wig. Just did some more fluffing with my hands to kind of give it a life, make it look effortless and uh, not too, too perfect. The curls actually started to fall uh, over the days and then by the end of the week they were more like giant waves than big spiral curls. I was okay with that. But for the first day, it was a very tight afro and I thought it was super cute. between the lace and my scalp. Let me know what you guys think of this style. Um, if you want me to do more styles with my wig, let me know. 
Um, until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for liking this video and sharing it with your friends and subscribe, please. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.